Hey guys, Jay Snow with another vlog for you guys. So this one we're going to be talking about not TwitchCon, but a Twitch meetup that I went to and proof of meetup. <laughs> proof of meetup, we got our Twitch swag. So I would call it shirt. I don't know if this shirt's quality or not, but I'll definitely be wearing it on stream at least one. So we got our Twitch swag from that. It was also other prizes given away, but I didn't win them. It was like a raffle for a couple of... Some people went away with like some cool headphones and uh, headsets, I should say, and a professional stream mic. So that was pretty cool. So what was it? It was a New York City uh Twitch meetup. So basically streamers, I didn't know what it was at first and I, I was like I was looking online last night and I was like what what is this Twitch sponsored meetup thing? So it ends up it was more of a networking thing. I thought it was going to be like a play game type of thing, but it was actually a business networking thing and I was sitting there like oh boy <laughs> because as far as my Twitch career has been pretty much a disaster as far as these stats are concerned. So it was pretty funny. It was kind of weird trying, not funny, but it was kind of weird going up to people with like a lot of followers. I even got business cards. I'm not going to show them on stream, but I even got business cards from people. And I was like, damn. I'm like, this is for bigger streamers, isn't it? I did meet a few guys who were like around the same level as me, but it was like, it was a lot. There was a lot of more, I guess, I don't know if popular is the word, but a lot of more established streamers who have affiliated them more. And then I think, what is his name? Swift Thor? I think it was Swifter was there. Some, some, not Swifty. I'm thinking Swifty of Warcraft. I think his name was Swiftor, but he apparently has like two million followers or something crazy. He was there. Didn't get to meet him. Don't even remember what he looked like, to be honest. But there was a lot of people. I met a lot of cool people there. Uh, we exchanged content. It's basically like follow. The only thing my complaint with that was like it was like follow for follow or lurk for lurk, but in real life, because <laughs> you were pretty much just exchanging stream contact info. So yeah, there could be collaborations down the line. But uh, for the most part, it was like lurk for lurk in real life, which was, it just felt so weird. Especially when I got handed my first business card, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my goodness, yeah, it was really overwhelming. It was kind of overwhelming, but I got used to it because I had to approach a lot of people and be like, hey, what's up? You know, what are you streaming and stuff like that, which is something I almost never do. Like at first, when I first started the event, People were coming up to me, so I was like, this is okay, all right? And then as I started to realize, I'm like, oh, we're supposed to network. <laughs> so I was like, why are people coming up to me and just talking about, like, stream stuff? Like, I mean, of course, that's what you go there for, but I'm like, I'm sitting there seeing all these gaming computers everywhere, and I'm like, where are the games? Like, it's, it, it, I see, like, there's computers lining the, the walls and everything, and I'm like, there's even a restaurant in it. It was crazy, uh. I don't remember the actual name of the place, to be honest, but it's in the city near, like, Chinatown, so I did get to go to the card shop there, but I'll go into that probably in a Yu-Gi-Oh! video, except maybe the shady part, I should say. I'll talk about that at the end of this video, but it was definitely a very cool experience. I mean, would I do it again? I'll have to see, because they do it about once a month. They have a New York networking stream, so it would be kind of weird to see people I know there, but hey, you never know what you'll find, who you'll find there. Uh, the venue was kind of packed, though. There was a lot of people. Like, I, I think it fits, like, it's supposed to fit, like, a couple of couches plus, like, a big area of gaming computers. But there's also a restaurant in it, so it was really crowded. So it'll be interesting to see if as this grows how big it will get. But it was cool, you know, to walk around, meet some people. You know, I even found somebody who plays Magic Gathering Arena. So I was like, hey, we can talk Magic and stuff like that. But unfortunately, nobody lives like near me in the city, so that kind of sucks. But we'll see what happens. Maybe we can do some collabs. You never know what can happen with these things. I probably have to go to another meetup event though, for me to work out something. But right now, I have a lot of people I got to message or follow on Twitch because I pretty much said, "Yeah, I'll follow your channel." I got it. I got a huge. I got a couple. I got like a stack, not a stack, but I got like a ten business cards plus all these names on my phone. So it's gonna be pretty wild going through that i'll probably do that tomorrow because i'm tired man walking the city so i guess the bonus thing was the city itself uh i have a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh things to open up for you guys because we went to chinatown i mean i went to chinatown with somebody else beforehand in chinatown i haven't done that in years the last time i did that was many many years ago with my brother when he was still playing Yu-Gi-Oh. but basically you had these small chinatown shops like as big as my room, pretty much, maybe a little bit bigger, and they just have stacks of binders of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's like, whoa! It's like stacks up to like my ceiling, basically, of like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and it, and it's in no order, which is like crazy. But you know, you just look through it, and apparently, somebody told me they stand there for like three hours a day, 
in this cramped shop looking for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But the prices are pretty decent. I mean, some of the single prices are meh. Cause like if the card's like a quarter or less, they still charge you a dollar, which kind of sucks. And then my friend, uh, what do you call it? He got charged like a dollar for like a three dollar card. I mean, he got charged yeah three dollars for like a dollar or less card. So it was it's a little bit weird. But as far as like the price of the boxes and stuff, it's like slightly lower than eBay. And since uh, what do you call it? You don't have to pay tax. That's a huge you know benefit because you know tax is killing everything when it comes to eBay and stuff. So pretty cool shop. The only thing is getting to the city costs money. And it's quite a trip, so, I mean, it's kind of worth it, I guess, if you're going to buy in bulk or something like that. But, I mean, it's kind of cool. Maybe I'll do it again. But otherwise, I don't want this V-Live to be forever. I'll talk about it more in the a Yu-Gi-Oh opening or whatever. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. As far as the Twitch stuff, maybe I'll go into that in a different vlog. But I'm hoping I can maybe make something work with Twitch now that I've experienced the Twitch community stuff. So, hopefully we'll have something better in the future. But anyways, signing off.